Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Where my people at? How are y'all doing today? I have some things I want to talk about today. I think everybody should hear. And, um... I'm very excited to speak on it. You know, um, where my people at? Where my people at? Come on, I always say, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Make sure y'all run up the likes. Make sure y'all run up the likes. Um, yeah, make sure you run up the likes in here so we can get more people in here. All right, so what's up, everybody? Um, I have a lot of things that I want to talk about today. And, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is really like leveling up real talk. Like I really want to talk about leveling up and the things that happen when it's time to level up. I want you to know that there will be a point where you get so woke or you get so high in consciousness that you won't relate to everybody. I want you to know that it's going to get to a point where you become so successful because it's going to happen. Happy birthday. You're going to get so successful to the point where it's like you just don't relate with everybody anymore. And, you know, sometimes we can grow so fast and people just don't relate to us anymore. And that is OK. I want you to know that there's nothing wrong with you growing. I want 11, 11. I want you to know that there's nothing wrong with you reaching the next level no matter how people may make you feel about that people will make you feel bad about growing because you're growing too fast for them people will make you feel bad for going to the next level because the next level is without them and that is okay i want you to know that you know there comes many challenges and i hope y'all really listening to me there comes many challenges with you going to where you want to go there comes many challenges with you leveling up to where you want to level up to but you got to understand that you always have to choose you first your happiness your success your career is always first because no matter what when you pick yourself you choose your fulfillment. Nobody can fulfill you like you can fulfill you. Nobody can fulfill you like your dreams can fulfill you. Nobody can love you like you can love you. And sometimes you will get hit with chances or opportunities where people will try to make you choose them over, over what it is that you want. And I want you to know that like, I've been using Moldavite for the past couple of days. And let me tell you something. I've released what I think should happen. And I just let things happen. That's another thing. Some of y'all want things to happen how you want things to happen. And it will happen the way that you want it to happen. But that you also have to understand that at some point you have to release and surrender to the universe. Sometimes you have to surrender and release to the universe. Hold on, y'all. Let me. Hold on, y'all. So sometimes you have to surrender and release to the universe. And the reason why I say that is because too many times we think we know how we want it to be. When in reality, if you just surrender to the universe, you'll have it better than you ever thought. I just got to open it up a little bit. You'll have it better than you ever thought. And a lot of times we don't realize how much our ego gets in the way. For example, some of you guys are in new opportunities, new places, new homes, and everything is working out the way it needs to, but you want it to be faster. And that's the problem. You want it to be faster, not realizing that if you make it faster, you're skipping over the lessons that you need in order to be successful. And when you take a step back from how your life has been moving, you will realize, dang, everything has been moving way faster than I thought. Let go. You need to let the people, the things, and the situations serve its course and let it go. Some of y'all are holding on to things that do not serve you anymore. You hear me? Like, you got to understand your success is going to come regardless. But it's only going to come if you get out of the way. P 
people do not realize that the only thing standing in the way of their success is themselves. And the reason why I say this is because you want to be friends with this person when they already showed you they're not really for you. But you're afraid of being alone. Never be afraid to go alone. Make sure you guys are please running up the likes on this live. I want this to get to everybody. Never be afraid to go alone. Because guess what? I'm telling you, y'all. Y'all need to understand that the universe has put me in this place of status or whatever you want to call it, public figure, so I can be that messenger for you. And everything that I go through as a spiritual being, you're going to go through. So I want you to take the notes because I already went through the test and I'm giving you the notes for the test. You want to be successful, right? Yeah, I do want to be successful, Sticks. Well, since Sticks is becoming successful and she sees what's going on, why don't you ask her what's happening? And let me tell you something. You being a spiritual being, you have a tendency of putting other people before you. And that's the wrong thing to do. You have a tendency of sacrificing your vision because you want everybody else happy. That's the wrong thing to do. The universe put you here for a reason. The universe put you here to speak up. The universe put you here to love. And don't let, no matter what other people did to you in the past, don't let that stop you from loving other people. And I want you to hear me very well now. Do not let what other people did to you in the past stop you from loving on other people. Because you got to understand that the test is... To not let hurt change you. The test is to love through the pain. Because guess what? When you decide to let that pain change you, you let the world win. You didn't let the universe win. You let the world win. And when I say you let the world win, you let people win. You let man win. When the divine should be the one winning all the time. Let me tell you something. People are going to try to stab you in the back. People are going to try it. People are going to try to pick on you. People are going to try to make fun of you. But you have to understand to love yourself all the way through to not let what anybody say get to you. You got to love yourself all the way through to make sure that what nobody says ever gets to you. Because let me tell you something. Kanye West, they made fun of. Michael Jackson, they made fun of. All of the geniuses in the world, they made fun of. But you want to know why? Because they wasn't able to understand them. And you got to understand that people are afraid or people make fun of what they don't understand. And you are a divine being. And a lot of people aren't connected to the divine like me and you are. So they don't understand. But trust me when I tell you, the same people that sleep on you, the same people that make fun of you, the same people that talk about you will come around. Because they'll realize, dang, me making fun of this person took me nowhere. Me sitting here sleeping on this or having a small mind about this took me nowhere. When I tell you I'm at this point now where people can say things about me and I just shake it off. People can want to leave my life and I just shake it off. Because I understand what is for me. What is for me is for me. What is for me. It's for me. And when you move from a place of flow, when you move from a place of, I know everything is going to work out for me. Things work out for you. You have to be effortless in the things that you do. You have to go with the flow with everything that you do and trust that everything will work out in its best way. Because here's the thing. Some of the things that are stopping you from having that level of success, having that level of happiness, having that level of growth is the fact that you don't have faith. You have to believe that everything will be okay. Everything will turn out the best way possible because you have to remember that the universe isn't making these situations happening to you. It's making things happening for you. For you. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at I'm Sticks River and make sure you guys subscribe to me on YouTube because all my lives will be on my YouTube. I've removed myself from a place of i gotta make this happen i gotta make this work and i just stopped chasing at this point now i really just let things come to me i've stopped chasing i have stopped chasing and i want you to stop chasing because let me tell you something anything that you chase 
only runs away. Mm. Anything that you chase only runs away. Let me ask you something. If I was to start chasing you or if, any, or if an animal was to tar- start chasing you, what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to run. Now, that animal could literally just be chasing you because it wants to get love from you. But anything that starts to chase you, you don't want to, you, you're going to run away. And the reason why is because anything that chases you makes you feel uncomfortable. I ask for what I want and somehow it finds me. I love that. I am a walking vault. I am a walking vault. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. Opportunities always seem to find me. What is for me will always find me. And what is not will always go away. What is looking for me will find me. What is for me will never pass me by. I want y'all to start using your affirmations more. I want you to start tapping into the power of spirituality more. Make sure you guys are meditating. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself because some of y'all are lacking energy. Like, there should be no reason why. And here, let me tell y'all something too. Here's something that I want to teach you too. If there is nothing wrong in this moment, you should be happy. If there is like, if you can look at yourself right now and say, is there anything wrong right now? And you say no, then there should be no reason for you not to be happy. I am in tune with the frequency of success. I want everybody to comment their favorite affirmation. I want everybody to comment their favorite affirmation. And when you see a good affirmation, I want you to say it out loud. Let's go. Spit your favorite affirmations in the comment. What I seek is seeking me. I am abundant. Let's go. Let's say it together. I am successful. I am who I say I am. I am worthy. This is what I'm talking about. I attract. I don't chase. Or I don't chase. I attract. I will. I already completed my goals. I am protected by the divine. I do not chase. I attract. I am more than enough. I claim all the blessings that are destined for me. I attract happiness and light. Everything leads to my success, happiness, and wealth. I am beautiful. I am free. I attract money easily. I manifest my true potential. I am one with the universe, so I am who I am. Thank you. Thank you. And I want everybody, make sure y'all, make sure y'all read these affirmations. Because you know what I've realized? I've realized that a lot of people are not taking the moment in their day to assume greatness, to assume wealth, to assume happiness. Are you really doing the work every day to make sure you are in a high frequency y'all make sure y'all go ahead and chase that money that's what y'all make sure y'all do but are you making sure that you receive that good vibration because a lot of y'all don't realize that if you were to make sure every day that you tapped into high frequency you wouldn't have to chase money everything starts with the mind so if you find yourself tapping into a high frequency that money will naturally attract to you. Stop chasing and realize that, you know what? All I got to do is just be happy. That is the key. If I just be happy, everything will come to me effortlessly. Mm. If I just be happy, everything will come to me effortlessly. And the reason why I say this is because I went to the mall the other day. And I'm vibing so high. And because I'm vibing so high, I'm looking at everybody. And I'm like, what's wrong with everybody? Why are people not happy? Why are people not having a smile on their face? Why are people not grateful? And that's the reason why things are not working out for you. Because you're not allowing yourself to just be happy. Gratitude is the key. Gratitude is the key. And the reason why I say this is because, you know, yeah, we, some people are working a nine to five and some people aren't happy that they're working a nine to five. But you know what else I realized? There are a lot of people without a job. There are a lot of people who have no money, but you somehow still manage to have food. You still have managed to have a roof. You somehow still managed to have clothes on your back. And when you realize that by you showing that gratitude for the little things, the bigger things are able to come into your life. 
I am grateful. I have so much to be grateful for. Yeah, I can sit here and be like, oh my God, why don't I have a thousand people on my live? But guess what? There are people who don't even have 20 people on their live. And guess what? I have 270 people on my live. So I am grateful. I am happy and I am thankful. You have to be happy for the very small things in your life. So I want to ask you right now, write down three things that you're grateful for on this live. I am in an amazing space career wise, mentally, emotionally and physically. The field of gratitude goes a long way. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I remember I was tripping out one time and I found myself getting negative in my trip. But but the moment that I said. The moment that I said, what are three things that I'm grateful for? I felt my frequency go up. The moment that I found myself in a negative space and I said, you know what? What are three things that I'm grateful for? I said, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. And it made me feel better. And the reason why is because when you mention one thing you're grateful for, you start to realize, dang, I actually have a lot. I have a lot. I have my own studio where I can create. I have an iPhone. Some people, listen, let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all are on an iPhone. Some of y'all are on an iPhone. Do you know some people are begging their mom right now? Please, mama, get me off this Android. Some of y'all are able to buy yourself a new hoodie. Do you know some people are begging their mom? Please, mom, can I get some new clothes? Please, mom, can I get a TikTok account? Why can't I get on TikTok? Some people don't have clean water. Some people don't even have hair. Some people are balding and they wish they had a head like you. Come on now, some people wish they had both their parents. Some people wish they had one parent. Yes, yeah, somebody said I need to humble my negative thoughts for real. For real, for real. And let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all allow the negative side of your thoughts to overtake the positive side of your thoughts. And this is why I say it's important that you constantly do and listen to what I'm saying. And I'm going to say it slow because I want you to take this in. I'm going to say this slow. And I ma make sure y'all screen record this. Make sure y'all screen record this, right? Because I'm channeling right now. Some of y'all allow the negative aspect of your mind to overtake the positive aspect of your mind. And the reason why is because whenever a negative thought comes into your mind, you give it a reason why it's true. So, for example, you'll tell yourself, I'm ugly. And then what you'll do is you'll say, yeah, because look at my hair and you make it bigger. Yeah, because look at my eyes and you make it bigger. Instead of listening to positive videos every day to make the positive side of your mind get stronger so that way when a negative thought comes in the positive side of your mind so that way when a negative thought comes in the positive side of your mind says no why would you say that somebody just gave you a compliment yesterday why would you say that your hair looks beautiful today why would you say that this and this and that happened today but because every time you get a negative thought, you feed it, you make it stronger than your positive. You got to understand that nothing is real. The only thing that is real is what you claim to be. Let me say that one more time. Nothing is real. The only thing that is real is what you claim to be. So if you decide that, no, I am smart then that means that when somebody says you're dumb, you say, no, I don't claim that to be. So that is not real. What are you claiming about yourself? And make sure you guys go ahead and check out my crystal shop. We just added a whole bunch of new necklaces. If you decide to want to support, you go ahead. But one thing I'll say is that, you know, I'm very active in wearing my crystals. Whenever I don't wear my crystals, I don't feel right. Because I know that when I wake up, I need to be tapped into a good frequency in order for me to manifest correctly. I am a creative. So creating and manifesting is very important for me. And a lot of you guys don't realize that because you have such a negative mindset, 
You only manifest negativity. Yeah, man. Like one thing about me, you're gonna always see me with a with a with a killer crystal game. You know what I'm saying? So this one right here that I'm wearing is green aventurine and malachite. So yeah. Link in the buy, click crystal shop if you want to support. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I want you guys to know that I will be that reminder for positive information. If you feel like, what crystal should everyone have? Clear quartz or amethyst? If you feel like, oh my God, man, I just need something positive to pop up. This is why you should be following me on Instagram. Because on Instagram, I'm always posting positive stuff. On YouTube, I'm always posting positive stuff. Sometimes all you need is a reminder. All you need is a reminder because guess what? Let me tell you how my content work. One day you'll be having a bad day and then boom, sticks pops up. And then because sticks pops up, now you're tapped into a, a higher frequency. I want you to start being tapped into my frequency because I want you to know that when you're tapped into my frequency, the things that you ask for start to manifest. The things that you want to happen start to happen. Those negative energies start to fade away all because you're tapped into my frequency. And that's the whole reason why I'm creating a community. Because I want you to know that every time I, I, every time I go on Styx's page, I always feel better. I always feel higher. I always feel that everything is possible. All right? I want to love on you. I want to give you positive energy. I want you to be able to, to look at me as a source of inspiration. Okay? I want you to look at me and I want me to be a reminder to you that God is real. I want you to look at me and I want me to be a reminder to you that positivity is real. I want to be a reminder to you. Can you remind yourself your eyes? That's why I tell you, listen to the music. I don't tell you this stuff for no reason because I understand when you look at the crystals, you're going to be like, Sticks will want me to be positive right now. When you look at the videos, Sticks will want me to manifest right now. Sticks will want me to meditate. I am your friend. I am your friend. I am your friend. And I am a friend to you that's going to hold you accountable. That's what my intention is. I want you to look at me and remember. Oh, snap. Nah, man. Sticks wouldn't want me being mad about this. Because I'm your friend. And I want you to know from now on, I, my YouTube videos, there's no reason. Like, listen, y'all, if you are seriously invested into yourself and you want to become a better person, there's no reason why you're not subscribed to me on YouTube. And some of y'all may be like, Sticks just promoting herself. And yeah, I am promoting myself. You want to know why I'm promoting myself? Because I've seen what my work does for other people. I've seen people go through literally mental hospitals and they telling me, Sticks, remind yourself did so much for me when I was in the hospital. Sticks, your videos did so much for me when I was in the hospital. And that's because I believe in what I do. I know that my words can motivate people. I know that my art can help people. And this is why I say right now, if I have ever inspired you, if I have ever helped you, if I have ever gotten you out of a negative place, please leave a comment on the live because I want to know. I want to know who I'm helping. I want to know who I'm inspiring. That's what I'm talking about. So make sure if I've helped you, make sure you guys are following me on YouTube. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because I want you to know this is genuinely like I need you all to know this genuinely from my heart and I might cry. I want you to know this genuinely from my heart. I am taking the role of a public figure for the youth. I am taking the role as a revolutionary. I am taking the role to make sure that I help the kids that come after me. I help the people who are my age. I want you to know that. So anything I can do, I'm going to do that. And I know nowadays kids are taking in content. And I want to make sure that my people, all the mothers on here who have kids, I want to make sure that your kids, instead of watching videos of people doing negative and nasty things, they're able to watch a video of sticks and learn. So I take that power and I take that leadership position. I want to teach kids how to meditate. 
I want to teach kids about their ancestors. I want to have history lessons about Africa. I want people to know where they come from. I want people to know how powerful they are. I want people to know the power of their mind. The fact that you can make anything you ever want to happen in life true with just the way that you think. I want you to know that you are powerful. You are in control. I want to speak life over you. I want to speak life over your business. I want to speak life over your kids. I want to speak life over your family. I want to speak life over your environment because I want you to know how powerful you are. You've had people sleep on you. You've had people shit on you. You've had people gaslight you. You've had people talk bad about you. But I want to let you know I am the one person who believes in you. Period. Because I know that if you're here in this live, two, 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 I know that if you're here in this live, God brought you here. And that means that if you're here in this live, that you're attracted to my energy. And I know my energy is high. Not everybody is attracted to my energy because my energy is high. It's so high that some people can't even see it. So if you're here, that means you're attracted to the same frequency. What's up, Journey to Snatched? What's up? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Deontay? And I'm telling you now, like, I don't care about making money because guess what? I know that as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for my people, the money will follow me. I want you to know that. So that's why I tell people, stop focusing on the energy. I mean, st stop focusing on the money and focus on the energy because the energy is truly what attracts the abundance. So stop chasing money and attract the frequency. Because when you're at that frequency, money is a side effect. Let me say that one more time. When you are on that frequency, money is a side effect. So instead of chasing the money, I want you to put your focus on being happy. Because let me tell y'all something. There has been times where you had periods of your life where you were just in good luck. You was like for two weeks, you just felt good. And I guarantee you. That in those two weeks that you felt good, money just came to you. Money just came to you, right? So let me tell, let me let me let me show y'all something. Let me see if I have a picture of it. Cause there is there's some um look, hold on. Dang, I don't think I have the I don't have the affirmations on here. I don't have the affirmations on here, man. But yeah, man. What do you do for a living? So I actually own a social media marketing agency. I also am a artist, a music artist. I'm a content creator. I have a crystal shop. I am an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? So there is nothing good about life. See, the things that you say come true. So the fact that you say that, I don't like negative energy in here. So I'm sorry, my love. You're going to have to get muted. All right. I don't need you speaking these things over my people. The only thing that my people need to hear is positive affirmation. You were in a dream the other day. We was manifesting and planning. Sounds like my spirit for real. Being a good person attracts other other good other good things and other good people. So this is what I'm going to start doing, guys. I'm going to create a phone number that you guys can text me at. And I want you guys to be able to receive positive quotes from me every day. How does that sound? How does that sound? If I created a phone number, right, that I was able to send you positive, positive affirmations every day, would you enjoy that? You guys want that? All right, good. All right, good. So I'm going to release that phone number soon. I just want you guys to make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram. So when I place it on my Instagram, you guys can text it, okay? All right? Somebody say yes and charge, know your worth. Um, For those, I'm not really going to charge. Like the only thing I'll ever charge is if you guys decided to get a crystal, you know? I'm very big on, I'm very big on crystals. I'm very big on having good frequencies around me. I would show y'all like... Like, I have crystals everywhere. I can't show you my altar, but I'm very big on crystals. So if you guys want to go ahead and support, I won't charge you for much. Like, I would never really charge you for information like that unless it's something that's, like, that took me a lot of time. So if you ever felt like, dang, I really want to invest in sticks, the only thing I could ever tell you is to get a crystal. Because that way I can, you know what I'm saying? 
Somebody said, how do I find your marketing agency? So my marketing agency isn't really somewhere you can find. It's like, oh, I reach out to stick. So I've been helping like these millionaires. I've been helping these millionaires grow their social media. How do you cleanse your crystals? So I basically use um, Palo Santo. I used to use Selenite. How do we meditate well? So that will be in my next ebook. So I just released an ebook on how to manifest well. And that was the ebook that I taught, you know, because in one year I was able to become a six figure earner through manifestation and of course through action. Now, a lot of people may be like, Sticks, how do I become a six figure earner? And that's why I created the ebook. All right. How can you explain how you use Palo Santo to cleanse them? So I'll take the Palo Santo, I'll light it, I'll allow the smoke to, to start up, and I'll put my crystal in the smoke while setting the intention. Cleanse this crystal. Get rid of all negative energy. Get rid of all energy that does not belong to me. Infuse this crystal with all my intention and all my energy. This crystal will be used for this, and that's how I do it. Would you ever consider selling crystals wholesale? Yeah, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys subscribe to me on YouTube, all right? affirmations teaching i actually want to create a book with a whole bunch of affirmations i wouldn't use florida water on my crystals because florida water has alcohol in it all right so yeah so if you want to go ahead and check out my crystal shop my crystal shop is in the link in the bio and i have all kinds of necklaces like this i have a whole bunch of bracelets i also have them well i think the sale might have ended i think the sale might have ended if you find yourself falling back into your old ways, what have you done to get back right again? This is why I say it's important to constantly feed yourself with the content. So, for example, I always reread books that help me get to that mindset. I always rewatch videos that help me get to that mindset. That's why I tell you, if you are watching my videos every day, if you are following me on YouTube, on Instagram, then you're not going to fall back because you're always being reminded. The best manifestation crystal I recommend is moss agate. Also, pyrite and citrine. I also have a success crystal kit on my website. And I want you guys to know everything on my website sells out very fast. So if you want something, you have to get it as soon as possible. All right. Oh, I've been using um, Florida water on my crystals. Have I done damage? If you don't see any damage, I don't think you have. But I don't recommend using. You know, do you know about the Orishas? Would it be funny if I told y'all that my name is Oriana and my nickname is Ori? Ori, Orishas? I do know about the Orishas, actually. They actually came to me in a dream and made themselves, you know, aware of who, who they were to me. Best started crystal. So I have crystal kits on my website. If you go to the website, the link in the bio, you can go ahead and see those crystal kits. You're so sure of what you're saying, which is why I trust what you say so much. The only reason why I am so sure of what I'm saying is because I have experienced it. Yes, I connect with Oshun and Yemaya. Yeah, Oshun came to me in a dream. Oshun came to me in a dream. That's why somebody told to me, Sticks, why do you look so attractive lately? Because I've connected with my mother. I've connected you know, that's why you see my skin glow. My, I just look different. I feel different. I'm tapped into another frequency. And the reason why I'm coming on here is because, like, truthfully and honestly, like, I don't receive anything from this. I just know that what I really receive from this is the good energy of knowing that I'm helping somebody. Like, you, you know, I, I like, you, you don't understand, man. The ability to know that I can help somebody really does a lot for me because if you can help somebody why not you know so again like i said make sure you guys are following me on instagram make sure you guys are subscribed to me on youtube and make sure you guys go ahead and get you a crystal and if you guys have any questions about sticks what crystals did i get you can go ahead and ask them here so i know somebody was asking me sticks was a great crystal for money what's a great crystal for this what's a great crystal for that i can help you out right now the link is in the bio click crystal shop also if your order is over 50 dollars, you can use this code ship me for free shipping So that's the code for free shipping. So what is so what's a good crystal for mental balance? I recommend amethyst for the mind. 
A great crystal for confidence is carnelian. We also have a confidence crystal kit. I'm a beginner with crystals. Which one do I begin with? I recommend using amethyst and clear quartz. Also rose quartz. It's so dope watching you vlog with Coach Stormy. Yeah, man. That's 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 my other mom. Like, I don't know, Deontay, if you can tell how much different I am just from hanging out with her. You know? Like, I learn a lot from her, and she's very spiritual. She's connected to her Orishas. She meditates. She Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's good to know that there are millionaires out there that are actually tapped into their roots. She's very big on black wealth and black people and tapping into your roots and being spiritually connected. She says that you can't go nowhere without being spiritual. So it's great to know that I'm being led by somebody who's connected and understands what I'm teaching. You know what I'm saying? Crystals for sensuality and dreams. For dreams, I recommend labradorite. For sensuality, I recommend flower agate or rose quartz. Do you do one-on-one -on -one teachings? Yes, I do. If you want a one-on-one -on -one teaching, just go ahead and DM me on Instagram. I've been manifesting a spiritual mentor too. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. That's what I'm telling you. I'm going to get a phone number too so you guys can be able to do that. I want you to teach me. Go ahead. Fo listen, follow me on Instagram and DM me. I'm going to create something for that. All right. Any other questions about the crystals? How do you figure out your spiritual gift? Listen, anything you ever want to know, it will make itself known to you. Let me tell you, let me say that one more time. Anything you ever want to know will make itself known to you when it's time. Somebody said, I'm in love with your energy. So if, let me ask y'all something. If you know that what I'm doing is working, why are you not investing into doing the same things that I'm doing? Like, honestly, if... No, they're not high maintenance. But let me ask you something. If you love everything about my energy, if you love the success I'm having, if you love what's going on with me, why are you not investing in the same things that I'm investing in? This is what my mentor told me. This is what Stormy Wellington told me. She said... If you want to be where I'm at, why are you not investing in the same things that I'm investing in? Somebody, I'm kind of scared. Everybody is scared to start at something. But what is the worst that can happen? I tell you that I meditate with crystals. Why are you not meditating? Why are you not meditating with crystals? I tell you that I read books about manifesting. So why didn't you get the manifesting book that Sticks gave you? You saw how I went from broke to six-figure earner in one year. You saw how I got a new apartment. You saw how I got a new home. You saw how I got a new car. You seen how I got a new mentor. So obviously something is working that Sticks is doing. What crystal can I use to make money? So one crystal that I recommend, you can use green aventurine, malachite, moss agate, and citrine. You know what I'm saying? What books are they again? So I have a book on my website. The link is in the bio. The book is How to Manifest. And I've taken every single thing that I've learned about manifesting and I put it in an ebook. I gave you methods. I gave you methods. A lot of people be like, oh, this is what manifesting is, but they don't tell you the exact practice to do. I give you an exact practice. I want to be a travel influencer. You know what? I'm going to create a class on how to do that. How to become an influencer. I'm going to get your ebook. Yeah, man. Like, I don't understand. Like, the thing is that you're only going to get so much stuff for free. My mentor has spent... My mentor is in Bahamas right now learning how to get better. She spent $25,000 just to go to Bahamas to go to a class. But y'all mean to tell me that y'all can't pay $20 for a book? That can change your life. Let me show y'all something. Because y'all think I'm playing. Look at this. Books on books on books on books. Every time I go to Barnes and Nobles, I spend about $300. Every time I go to Barnes and Nobles, I spend about $300. This is just what's on the ground. This is just what's on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Every time I go to Barnes and Nobles, I'm always investing in myself. Scared money don't make nothing. Exactly. Like, you have to understand, the thing that sets people apart from being successful is the fact that they take risk. Let me tell you something. 
this is what grant cardone said what link is the book under the link is in my bio so that's the link right there put manhurts.com that's it right there right and let me tell you something S let me say this and i hope you listen write down what i'm about to say success favors the risk taker with no penalty success favors the risk taker with no penalty i've dropped out of school with a full scholarship to chase my dreams and guess what that was the best risk i ever took i quit my job with no money in the bank to chase my dreams that was the best decision i ever made success favored me because the risk that i took on myself Success favors the risk taker with no penalty. So y'all too busy playing it safe, realizing that you're only going to get safe results. What advice would you give to someone who is in a toxic household? Get away. Get away. Find a means to get away. What if I feel drained by others? That's exactly why I have protection crystals on me. To protect my aura. To protect my energy. Here's the thing. The reason why you haven't gotten any crystals yet is because you don't believe. And that's the problem. Y'all thinking that somebody's just trying to sell you something. But you don't realize that I believe in what I do. I've been wearing Moldavite for a week. And I've seen things change. But guess what? Somebody would have been like, I'm not paying $150 for this crystal. I'm not paying. I paid $150 for this crystal. Why? Because I believe. I believe that the energy was going to help me. I believe that the energy would protect me. But some of y'all don't want to pay $20 to have some good energy flowing in your home. You got to understand, you have to pay to invest in yourself. How do you set intentions or activate in your crystals? Meditate with them. Meditate with them. I'm homeless and about to go to rehab. Any advice? The law of assumption. The only way you can get out of that, that situation where you're homeless, you're going to a shelter, is by changing your mindset. Changing your mindset. Telling yourself, I know I'm in this situation, but I know I'm going to get out of it. I know that this is happening right now, but I know this is making me stronger for my next level. Use this as strength. Use this as an advantage. Whatever I'm going through right now is preparing me for where I'm about to be. My testimony about to be so, so amazing. If I can get out of this, then I can do anything. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. You can only go up from here. And I'm speaking life to you. Anybody that's homeless right now, you're going to make me cry. You're going to make me cry. Anybody that's homeless right now, understand that you can get out of it if you believe so. Understand that anybody that's going through pain right now, you can get out of it if you believe so. But you got to know that I can do it. I can do it. I don't care who don't believe in me. I don't care who don't see me for who I am. I'm going to do it because I believe in myself. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will stop you. Because I believe in you. I don't care where you at right now. I believe in you. Seriously. Like I need y'all to know. I believe in y'all so much. I believe in you. I mean y'all don't understand man. The love that I have for y'all. Y'all y'all probably think it sticks just an influencer sticks. Nah man. I want to change lives. Because somebody young like me. Changed my life. The first person to ever speak life into me was XXX Tentacion. That man was broken down, still trying to help other people. Fair, for real. For real. I don't care, bro. Like, listen, man. When y'all know how much I care about y'all, when y'all understand how much I really love y'all and how much I really want to make a change, like, I'm telling you, man. Like, this is my passion. This is my passion. That's all I can say. That's why I tell y'all, like, if you listen to my music, you can feel my heart. You can feel my heart. 
if you listen and anybody here, anybody has, who's listened to my music, you understand it. You can feel my heart in this stuff, man. Like, that's all I can say. Like, if this don't show you how committed I am to y'all, I don't know what will. I love what I do. I love what I do. Ashe. 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 So this is why I say, man, like, if you truly believe in me, and you truly believe in what I'm saying, like, I want you to know, if you trust me as your leader, if you, if you trust me as your mentor, just know that I will never lead you the wrong way. I'm going to always tell you, if somebody do you wrong, just love them and let them go. I'm not going to tell you, oh, do revenge. Like, no, man. I've seen what the divine look like. I've seen what the divine can do for you. I've seen the miracles that it can produce. If you just trust in the divine, if you always trust the higher road, it will always take you where you need to go. So that's why I always preach. Always do things with a heart of love. You give us so much free game. You're truly a blessing. Because I know that whatever I feed into you is going to get fed back into me. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't say negativity. I don't speak negativity. I speak positivity because I know that positivity is going to come back to me. And I just want y'all to know I love you. And I think you can feel that from me. I love you. I love you. And I believe in you. And I am proud of you. Because even though everybody has done these negative things to you, you still have a heart of gold. And I commend you for that. All right. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Make sure y'all are tapped into the YouTube. Because I'm telling you, the content that I'm about to release, it's going to inspire you. It's going to remind you who you are. And if you want to support, you don't have to. Listen, you don't have to buy a crystal. The only thing I ever ask if you want to support me is to just make sure that you're following. Make sure that you're liking the content. Make sure you're sharing the content with people. But if you decide, oh, you know what? I do want to go get a crystal. Go ahead and just get the crystal. Check the crystal shop out. But know that you don't need to. If you don't have it, that's okay. A like is free, a comment is free, a share is free. And I'm grateful for you just being here. Okay? So again, I want you to know that I love y'all. And if you are looking for, and this is not me being like, oh, this is you supporting. No, this is for you. Now, if you really want to learn how to manifest, I really do recommend getting that ebook. The link is in the bio, click Crystal Shop. The ebook is how to manifest. I didn't write that for fun. I didn't write that for money. I wrote that myself. And I told you everything that I know about manifesting. And I've manifested a lot of things in my life. All right? And I'm telling you now, and I want y'all to remember this. This year, you will see sticks blown up. You will see sticks famous. Famous birthdays already got, already got me on there. Famousbirthdays.com. This is the year that I am famous. So I'm telling y'all, y'all want to tap in before that happens so you can see me manifesting in real time. How inspiring is it to see somebody tell you, I'm going to be famous, I'm going to be successful, and then you see it happen? How inspiring is that? Very. All right? So make sure you guys check out the Crystal Shop, the link in the bio. Make sure you guys check out, you know what, let me play y'all some music while y'all here. Let me play y'all some music. Do y'all mind if I play y'all some music? Do y'all mind if I play y'all some music? Do y'all mind if I play y'all some music? I'm releasing some music. I hope y'all ready. Do y'all want to hear some music? I hope y'all ready because I want to play some music for y'all. All right, y'all. I'm going to play some music for y'all. All right? So this is some new music I've been making. And I'm going to release it, all right? I'm going to release it. So make sure make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because the music is coming out. All right, hold on. I got you, Deontay. I'm going to play that next.
the the one that I played on um the one that I had played on TikTok and Instagram is called Set Me Free. All right. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram if you truly believe in my music because it's going to go somewhere. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I want to be able to say, where my OG support is at? Where my OG support is at? You're going to be like, that's me. I've been here since TikTok. So here's the next song called Set Me Free. A real crazy cute. A real crazy cute. this song was to let people know like trust me i ain't never switching up i ain't never gonna change who i am i'm gonna always be real i'm gonna always be me so that's why i made the song the blues like no matter how many times people hurt me i'm gonna always be me i think this might be the next one y'all like haven't heard this one Tell if you are a producer dm me on instagram i need beats DM me on Instagram. Yeah, man so those are some of the new stuff that i've been making man 
That's what I'm telling you. Like, I'm only going to go up from here and I want to go up with you. So that's what I'm saying. Tap in, stay connected. And, you know, like, I just, I'm focused on growth, man. All right. So if you make beats, if you make beats, please hit me up on Instagram. I'm looking for beats, producers. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all so much. I'm about to head out. Again, make sure you guys check out the crystal shop. Get y'all some necklaces. I love you all. And I'm out. Later. Anything with features and anything like that, just DM me on Instagram. That's the best way to reach out to me, all right? So DM me on Instagram. When is it going to be released? It's going to be released very soon. But that's why I tell you. Tap into Instagram. All right? Manifest that we meet in person. It's going to happen. That's a fact, all right? I love you all. Later.